Hi, this is Malcolm Lanham, the Community Health Director for the Mid-Ohio Valley Health Department. I just wanted to take some time and introduce this new uh, video we're going to do each week for uh, the Health Department uh, social media pages. And it's going to be Mondays with Malcolm. And we want to take some time to talk about pressing community health issues, talk about pressing uh, issues within our community when it comes to our health and the community of, uh, of our neighbors, our friends, our family, and, and just go through what the potential uh, could mean for each of us. And so today, with this and it being our inaugural uh, video, a couple things I wanted to go over today was what is community health? And what's that mean for us, for you, and for uh, the community uh, in general? But then I also want to give just some quick updates about COVID-19 and then also monkeypox. So uh, a little bit about me. I've been here with the health department now since June of 2020. And uh, when I first got here, uh, my role was as the population health director. <clears throat> and in that, I was overseeing our threat preparedness unit, also overseeing our overdose quick response teams as well. Uh, since that time, uh, things have grown. Obviously with COVID, uh, our, my team helped coordinate and oversee the vaccination distribution uh, throughout all six counties, uh, being Calhoun, Pleasant, Ritchie, Roan, uh, Wharton, and Wood counties. But then also, uh, now we're also still working within the case investigations when it comes for, uh, to COVID-19 and other COVID-19 uh, uh, outreach as well. So uh, now, now we're starting to pivot more towards uh, being able to do more things when it comes to uh, community health perspective. So the first thing is, let me just re uh, read to you what community health uh, actually is. I get that question a lot, is what is community health? It is a medical specialty that focuses on the physical and mental health well-being of the people in a specific geographic region. For us, again, it's those counties I just uh, mentioned. Calhoun, Pleasance, Ritchie, Roan, Wirt, and uh, Wood counties. And this important subsection of public health includes initiatives to, do, to, to help community members maintain and improve their, their health, prevent the spread of infectious diseases, and prepare for natural disasters. And also, it says working at the, at the community level promotes healthy living, prevents chronic disease, and brings the greatest public health benefits to the greatest number of people in need. And so the actions and conditions that protect and improve community health can be organized into the three areas, health promotion, health security, and health services. And so for us within the Middle High Valley Health Department, that really does uh, focus on what we do as, as, a, as a department is we have our threat preparedness and our threat response teams. And then we also have our community health where we are, have been working for over a year now with uh, others in, the, in our community on the community uh, needs assessment. And then out of that, we created the community health improvement plan that we just uh, released. Uh, it was approved back in May. And since then, we've also come up with our community health initiative, uh, Step Up for a Healthy Life. And you're gonna be hearing more about that in the weeks to come. And it's gonna be a community health initiative that is gonna be focused on five areas. Nutrition, sleep, movement slash exercise, community, and lifestyle. And inside that, we wanna make each of those areas attainable for, for everybody. We wanna make, we wanna give you something that you can do under each of those five areas that you can start doing today that would have a positive uh, health outcome for you and your family. So, so you're gonna be hearing more about that from me in the near future, but you're also gonna be seeing a lot of new programs coming out of uh, the community health uh, department here, here at the health department for, uh, for this type of work. So that's just a little bit about uh, community health, where we're coming from, where we're at, and those kind of things. But uh, just today, I wanted to give just a quick update on uh, COVID-19. Well, I don't have specific uh, numbers in front of me right now. Uh, a couple of things that just to kind of as a reminder is that COVID-19 is still here within our community. And 
the case numbers are coming uh, in every day. Uh, they're, they're higher than they have been uh, in recent uh, weeks and months. But some days we're getting 50 cases a day. Some cases, we're, some days we're getting almost 100 or more cases a day. And something to remember about that. These case numbers are only cases that are reported through uh, what's called a PCR test that is reported to the, to the state. So these, these do not include the home health test that a lot of us have received in the mail or are buying at stores. So those, those home tests are not reported in our numbers. So yes, while right now we are seeing a spike, our concern is that we're, we're, there's a lot of numbers we're not seeing. And so that means there's probably a, a large potential for community spread within, within our region. And again, we, we see the numbers, we see the names, we see the people every day that, and we're talking to people every day that, uh, that are positive when it comes to, to COVID-19. But at the same time, we're also seeing, uh, again, uh, these people are uh, people that are unvaccinated, but they're also vaccinated as well. And so what I would tell you is uh, from a uh, mitigation standpoint to protect you and your family, First thing is to to get healthy. That's that's one of the biggest things that we can tell people at, in our community is that is to, is to get healthy. That's gonna be the number one way that you can can mitigate and and recover faster from COVID nineteen. But then also on top of that, if if you feel that that you need to um, wear a mask. Uh, in certain environments, whether it be at work, whether it be uh, out in public, those kind of things, then do that. Do what's best for, for you and your family. And then on top of that, when it comes to the vaccines, it's, say, it's the same thing I would tell you. If you feel that, that you need the, the vaccine, if you need the boosters uh, to, get, to get them, uh, again, do what you feel is best for you and your family. Uh, become knowledgeable in, that, in those areas as well. So that would be my uh, first thing about COVID-19 and how to mitigate a lot of the potential of infection uh, that's out there right now. The, the next thing is monkeypox. So right now, as we're seeing across the country, uh, we, just in the last week, from last Monday to this morning, we are seeing about 179% increase nationwide in monkeypox cases. The, and within, uh, even within West Virginia, we went from one positive case last Monday to three as of this morning. And so again, we're seeing uh, increases. Within the states, within West Virginia and the states surrounding us, uh, including Washington, D.C., we've seen a 199% increase since last Monday. So some, so some things with that is that while monkeypox in and of itself is technically not a, a sexually transmitted infection, this variant and this outbreak, a large amount of the uh, infections are coming through sexual contact. So we would just tell you to, to uh, watch yourself, watch your family, but then also if you uh, start having things like flu-like symptoms come up, if you start having things, uh, uh, unexplainable rash uh, come up, um, then, then reach out here to the health department and call uh, our main number, 304-485-7374, and let them know that you've got some concerns that you may have, have a rash or may have uh, potential exposure to monkeypox. But also, there are, uh, there are other areas as well. Uh, what I would tell you is, uh, you can go to Google and uh, go to the CDC's website and find out what the, 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 the risk factors are for those that are exposed to, to monkeypox. If you've been potentially exposed, I would also tell you that if you are, a, uh, are in the housekeeping uh, community, that are, whether it be in hotels, uh, whether you work in uh, shelters, uh, whatever that may be at, uh, be on the lookout, take care of yourself, wear, wear the, the proper PPE to keep yourself, you and your family safe from potentially getting monkey pox. But I would also tell you to, to again, use some common sense a little bit as well. Make sure that you are uh, uh, washing your hands when you get done uh, touching uh, 
linens that are maybe not, may not be yours, and uh, or if you've been in contact with somebody that could potentially uh, uh, have an exposure to, uh, to monkeypox, whether it be through uh, a sexual contact, uh, again, just be on the lookout. And the first thing I would tell you is to look for uh, and one of the early onset signs of uh, signs and symptoms of monkeypox are flu-like symptoms. But then obviously you'll start seeing, potentially start seeing a rash. <clears throat> but those could also be a number of other things. So again, if you feel like you've been exposed or potentially are showing some monkeypox uh, uh, signs and symptoms, contact the, the health department here uh, or in your local county and they can get you the, into our clinical team that can, can have that discussion with you if you may be a uh, prospect uh, or a potential contact of somebody with monkeypox. So, again, yeah, I just want to uh, thank everybody for watching this video. Be watching for these videos uh, Mondays about 3 o'clock on social media, whether it be our Facebook page, our, uh, our Instagram page. Be watching for those, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can send a message, and our uh, public information officer, Amy, will get those messages, and uh, we can uh, talk about that in, those in, in a later video. If you've you got questions, uh, send us a message and we can get those uh, answered for you as well. Thanks a lot and hope you, you all have a good day.